planet. There are live cameras. Take a look, live cameras aboard a NASA spacecraft. The spacecraft is headed toward the white dot. You see it there, the white dot in the center? Image there is an asteroid 7 million miles away from Earth. NASA will beam back live pictures of the impact this evening, right about 6.15. NASA hoping this will be the blueprint for life-saving missions in the future. Oxford's Alex Boyer has a closer look at the project. Alex. Hi, Heather. And it's important to know that this asteroid doesn't pose any risk to Earth. You know, Congress set a mandate that by 2020, a NASA needed to find 90% of asteroids that are big enough uh, to destroy a city. So uh, they found uh, several of those uh, over the past couple of years, and this is one of them. It's the first of its kind save the world experiment. NASA is going to use a spacecraft named DART to slam head on into an asteroid millions of miles from Earth. It's important to say that that T is for test. This asteroid is not a threat to the Earth now or for the foreseeable future. Nancy Chabot is the NASA DART coordinator. The unmanned spacecraft will be traveling at 14,000 miles per hour when it impacts the asteroid, which is about the size of a sports stadium. The spacecraft is going to have to fly itself and steer itself, identify that small asteroid, and impact it squarely head on. DART, or Double Asteroid Redirection Test, got its name from its purpose. The goal is to push the asteroid off course, changing its future position over time. This is all about asteroid deflection, not destruction. We can fill this, this space very easily, which I get. McKenna is Dowd is the planetarium program coordinator at UT Arlington. The spacecraft will be outfitted with a camera system that will allow NASA and the world to view the impact in real time, one live image per second. Dowd says this is a teachable moment. It's great that we can kind of study this planetary defense and be better prepared if a situation, um, a rare situation like this would occur. If an asteroid this size were to hit Earth, NASA says it could cause catastrophic damage across hundreds of miles, hence Monday's experiment. If this happened over a heavily populated area, um, a city, a small state or small country, this would be completely devastating. Chabot says the thinking is in order for this type of planetary defense to work, you need to do it at least a decade before it could pose a problem to Earth. What you're trying to do is give this asteroid a small nudge. Telescopes across the globe will watch the impact. Back at the UT Arlington Planetarium, Dowd will be too. What I think is really cool about planetary defense is that it is a global issue. So this mission in itself is very good for um, global cooperation and that sort of collaboration between the world and, and defending our planet. And again, cameras and telescopes will be watching the impact, but it'll take days and possibly weeks to know whether or not it actually changed the orbit of the asteroid. You know, it's worth noting uh, that Congress uh, did not provide NASA with a bunch of money in order for them to discover all of the asteroids by the mandate. I'm told uh, that there are still some 15,000 asteroids out there that still need to be located. Back to you. Well, that's comforting. Well, it's so interesting. It's really it's <laughs> right. just interesting. All right. All Alex. Right. Thanks, Alex.